have you seen a difference not from the sales i, I don't want to talk about the sales today or the distribution yeah. the difference in productivity of senegalese land when they started mechanization mechanization i will take an example yes onions 15 years ago we were producing around um, 30 tons per hectare today you will not believe me we reach 100 tons per hectare thanks to our direct seeding with Manasem vacuum planter that we have seen uh, uh, in the last video. So now we are not doing nursery and transplanting. We are doing directly seeding in the field. That allow us this year to import zero onions from Holland from January to now uh, we are in September. My name is Sherif, Sherif Jum. I am Senegalese and uh, I am the head of uh, Terra Grisane. Uh -huh. which is part of the French group ICS. We have uh, some companies uh, in Africa, and uh, Senegal is one of them, and uh, Kenya as well, where you're from. You're in Kenya? Yes, in Nakuru. We really? We have one uh, strong company in Nakuru, uh -huh. dealing with the same tractors, class tractor, and Landini, and other implements. We have a problem in Africa. We are in a crisis that we need to address as early as now before things get off hard. Our people lack food. Our people have nothing to eat. And Africa holds 60% of world arable land. What do you think is our biggest problem? Africa needs to invest on mechanization. We need to move from subsistent farming, no matter the size of our land, and do mechanization. This is for us, and this is for the better of Africa. Like we say, our food, our future. Today, I'm joined by an expert who is, has been in this industry for many years, working with tractors, farming in, with tractors, and now selling all giving African tractors and which is the solutions towards the problem that we are facing. Fred, how are you? I'm very fine. Yeah, good. Welcome to Senegal. Thank you. Teranga, Teranga, Teranga country. Hospitality. 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 Yes. But it's not just hospitality, but also I see good things in Senegal. Africa at the moment is facing food insecurity. Yeah. It's at its knees as we speak. Yeah. Do you believe or whatever you brought in, is it a solution to, to, to achieve food security or what, what, why have you thought of tractors? Definitely, Fred. I think that Africa has a big challenge of feeding his population. And we cannot just keep on working uh, the same way we were doing 100 years ago. Now population is increasing. We have to increase our land and the only way to do it is mechanization. As you can see here, this tractor is for example 200 HP. 200 HP, one day you can do a disc harrow for 50 hectares without a problem. 200 horsepower can do? 50 hectares of 50 disc hectares. harrow, no problem. You know, while one uh, farmer with his horse or with uh, another animal uh, traction, We'll do half a hectare a day. You know the difference? So this is a game changing. And Africa should do the same as we do in Brazil, in the United States, or in Europe, in order to increase our yield and our output. Because we cannot keep on doing half an hectare per day uh, while people around the world are doing 50 hectares. That's why I believe that mechanization is a solution. And it is new, it's not new for Africa. We have been doing this since uh, uh, more than uh, 20 years. So it's just a question of um, how we can make it uh, available and affordable for our farmers. I want to understand when did you start this mechanization in Senegal? Okay, so Senegal basically we have different areas. And the strongest area for mechanization is the northern part of Senegal because we have the Senegal name, the river named River Senegal. So water is not a problem, it's available all year round. So people are growing uh, maize, 
are growing uh, sweet corn for export, are growing rice, uh, potatoes, onions. So those people, they have uh, big lands and they need mechanization. That's why it was easy for us to penetrate that uh, uh, part of Senegal. And also, and above all, we were not just talking to big farmers. We have some cooperative in the north of Senegal and that allow people to buy the same range of uh, uh, tractors as the big investors are doing. So cooperative for us is uh, very good and I think that it is a, an example not only for Senegal, huh? we can talk about that all around Africa. Cooperatives will help us to talk to one uh, group of farmers and be able to sell a machine of 1,000 US dollars without a problem. From when Senegal, from the first, because I know you, your experience, you have you, been in this industry for, for many years and dealing with mechanization. Have you seen a difference, not from the sales, I, I don't want to talk about the sales today, or the distribution, yeah. the difference in productivity of Senegalese land when they started mechanization. mechanization. I will take an example. Yes. Onions. 15 years ago, we were producing around um, 30 tons per hectare. Today, you will not believe me, we reach 100 tons per hectare. Thanks to our direct seeding, with Manasam vacuum planter that we have seen uh, uh, in the last video. So now we are not doing nursery and transplanting. We are doing directly seeding in the field. That's allow us this year to import zero onions from Holland from January to now uh, we are in September, thanks to that technology. So mechanization for, for, for sure will help us to, to, to improve our, our yield to address those problems of uh, nutrition and productivity. Majority of Africans are medium and small scale farmers. Yeah. And when you talk of mechanization, they usually hide the, uh, under other, the bed. You as a company, do you have something for them or this is what you have for all farmers in all levels, small scale, medium scale and large scale? No, we have a large range. We can uh, start from 50 hectares to 500, uh, uh, 50 uh, HP, sorry, to 500 HP. So, so this is just a medium size structure that you have? This is a medium size, okay? We have a uh, whisk cap like here, whisk cap and, uh, and uh, AC. Yes. Okay, air conditioning uh, cap. But we have also sunroof, that one, that small Landini. Yes, yes. So with that tractor, um, then you are in a price, price which can talk to a farmer of like uh, 20 hectares, depending on the crop, of course, because small farming is not about how many hectares you, you are having. It is also which crop are you growing. An onion grower is different from maize. Sure, sure, Yeah, sure. onion, if you have in Senegal 50 tons, maize you will roughly maximum get six, six tons, six. So this makes the difference. It, it has been a big challenge to farmers because of, uh, I understand some pricing because of the different localities in Africa. Uh, and as we speak, we are in the biggest conference, which is African Food System Conference, biggest in the world. I yeah. call it biggest in the world. Yeah. Do you, in, do you believe that Africa can set up policies, not just for one region or for one country, we set up policies that favors mechanization from north to south, east to west, and make Africa a food secure country. Yes, definitely. I think that there is a positive energy now. Because what you uh, have seen now in Senegal, you will love to see it in Kenya. Sure. One day, if I go to Kenya, I will want to replicate the positive things I will see there. So this uh, Africa uh, Food System Forum is uh, very good um, for us to be inspired and to be ins uh, to inspire you. So I think that in Africa, if we continue talking and if our governments uh, continue discussing about their uh, different experiences, we will end up having uh, uh, yeah some I don't know how to call it some um, uh, same same energy together to uh, share our uh, our know-how to share our good experiences and it will uh, lead to, yes, a development of, uh, of technology uh, on this kind of uh, mechanization. And we see here, I was uh, glad to see some small 
African um, companies doing innovation in technology uh, that we will use on our tractors to do uh, tractor tracking to see where is uh, our tractor, what it is doing and so on. Because many of African investors, they are some uh, of them uh, living in Europe. They invest in Africa. They want to know where is my money? Is my tractor doing what uh, it has to do and so on. So those kind of energy now we are sharing here is good. And and even you guys, you are on the, on the social medias and spreading this kind of technology. And I think this will lead to Maybe someone sitting in uh, uh, Nigeria or Guinea, Conakry, will see us talking and he, he will say what? He will say this is possible. If Senegalese uh, brother is, uh, are uh, selling and using this machine, why not me? If he see it only on YouTube from United States, he will say, oh, no, this is for developed countries. But now we are here, Fred, you and me, sitting in front of uh, this technology. So this is already in Africa. This is not the future, this is uh, the present. So yes, this uh, is a nice event, and I think it will uh, bring positive uh, things. Yes, and I, and I like the technology. I'm a big advocate of technology in Africa because I'm a champion of food security. Okay. And when it comes to food, I don't joke with that. Yes. So if we solve that problem, we are done with half of African uh, problems. Now, we have, at the moment in Africa, young people, the youths are the majority. Mm -hmm. As Taylor Agrisen, mm -hmm. do you have an uh, arrangement? Do you have something that you, you are organizing or you are planning for the young people? Because, you know, before we reach this point as young people, we also need some mentorship, we need some assistance, we need some support. Yeah. Do, you, uh, do you have something that you have for us young people? Yes, for young Africa? people. You know, you're right because we cannot all invest uh, in such a big machine. It is uh, at a certain price. Yes. So to make it uh, available, we decide to create one uh, um, service like Allo Tractor in Kenya. Now in Senegal, we have the renting service. So if you want to plant your onion or carrots, you call Teragdisen and we will come to do the bed making, okay? We will make it flat and nice to and ready to be planted. And we come with the onion planter and we do it for you. Even for potatoes, we can come with a two-row uh, potato planter and plant for you. While harvesting, we come back with a harvester. So we make it affordable, we make it accessible for all young uh, uh, farmers. Because if uh, the entry ticket is so high, young people, they will not join the family of, agri uh, of farmers in Africa. So I think those kind of solutions should be uh, adapted and we start doing it. We, uh, we have to adopt those kind of uh, uh, ideas, okay? But not only, not only uh, keep on uh, selling new uh, machines and that's it. We start and we will develop it because last year we did uh, on onions around 100 hectares. This year the season is not yet uh, started and we have 200 hectares of uh, registration to be planted in onions you see the impact so uh in this way you are hiring you use young people to be able to offer these services uh, to, to to different farmers yeah. or, or how or how is your higher hiring processes so we we hire um, young um, technician from mechanization uh, training centers they are our drivers our you know and also young farmers who come and start uh, growing, they don't have means. Those are our target, our main target, yes. Any farmer who may be interested in uh, such a machine, what is the budget? Or what is the range bucket budget? Because you said you have uh, 50 horsepower to 500 horsepower. So yeah. what is the range budget? Because yeah, you... yeah, yeah, the range is uh, around uh, 30, um, uh, 35 US dollars uh -huh. up to uh, that five thousand US dollars. Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand US dollars. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. This is a starting point. Let's say up to, but in Africa we have to talk to our leaders. Our public leaders has to uh, maybe help us by reducing the tax. If you go to Guinea Conakry, I am happy to see that there is zero tax when you import agri agri tractor and implements. Yes. Which country? Guinea. Guinea Conakry. Which is a good point. When you import tractor in Guinea, you don't pay. 
because they want to develop the agriculture there. Mm -hmm. This, I think, must be replicated. They, we have to do it in Senegal, maybe in Kenya or uh, other countries to boost the sector because we need it. For those who may be interested to get, to mechanize their farm, to get such, such tractors, because I 100% recommend them, mm -hmm. how do they reach out to you? How do they get you? Either in Senegal, in South Africa, in West, any part of the continent. Now we are working with Africa. Yeah. How do they get you? Yeah, so yeah. they can uh, go to the website www.icsagri.com. So this is uh, the easiest way to join us. We are on uh, social media as well. But the easiest way, wherever you are in Africa, go to the website ICS Agri, A J G R I, yeah, right? Dot com. This website will help you, and you will see all our um, technology. Thank you, brother. Thank you, friend. Let's change Africa. <laughs> yes. Let's feed Africa. We will do it. Our food, our future. Yes.